Lie in anatomical position with your arms at your sides. This is important because it puts your nerve on slack. Extend the elbow and rotate the palm facing up and down, up and down. With the palm facing down, extend the wrist up and down several times and take note of any ECU related pain. With your palm facing down, take your wrist into ulnar deviation several times, taking note of any ECU related pain. Abduction of the arm to 90 degrees places more tension on the nerve. Extend the elbow and rotate the palm to face up and down several times, taking note of any ECU related pain. Now with your palm facing down, extend the wrist up and down several times and also make note of any pain. Repeat this in ulnar deviation. Shoulder flexion to 180 degrees puts greater tension on the nerve. With your elbow in extension, rotate the palm up and down several times taking note of any ECU related pain. With your palm facing down, extend the wrist up and down several times, taking note of any ECU related pain. Repeat this in ulnar deviation. Shoulder flexion to 180 degrees with the wrist off the side of the bed puts even greater tension on the nerve. Just don't forget to support your elbow on the bed. Extend the elbow and rotate the palm to face up and down several times, taking note of any ECU related pain. Now with your palm facing down, extend and flex the wrist up and down several times, also taking note of any pain. Repeat in radial and ulnar deviation. With your palm facing up, extend the wrist up and down several times, taking note of any ECU related pain. Place your hand in a fist and rotate the wrist palm facing up and down several times, taking note of any ECU related pain. Hand in a fist with the palm down, extend and flex the wrist several times. Repeat with your thumb pointing up in radial and ulnar deviation several times, of course making note of any ECU related pain.